The Gospel of Truth, paraphrased. The Gospel of Truth is a meditation on the nature of truth and the role of knowledge in returning to the divine source. It begins by describing the state of humanity, lost in ignorance, separated from the true God by the illusions of the material world. In this state of ignorance, people are like wanderers in darkness, unaware of the divine light within them. They live in fear and confusion, guided by the false self, the ego, that keeps them bound to the material world. But the truth, which comes from the true God, has the power to dispel this darkness. The true God, the source of all that is, sent the word, Logos, into the world to bring this truth to light. The word is the expression of divine wisdom and love, a beacon that guides souls back to their true home. When the word entered the world, it brought with it the knowledge, gnosis, that reveals the divine nature of all beings. The archons, who govern the material world, are not evil but are part of the structure that maintains the cosmic order. They were created by the eons, including Yahweh, to oversee the physical realm. Their role is to challenge souls, pushing them to seek the truth beyond appearances. While their actions may seem harsh or restrictive, they are intended to spur spiritual growth and awakening. The ignorance that binds humanity is like a fog, obscuring the true nature of reality. But this ignorance can be overcome through knowledge and understanding. The Word came to teach that the material world is not the end, but a means to spiritual growth. By recognizing the divine spark within, individuals can transcend the limitations of the physical realm and return to the fullness of the divine. The Gospel emphasizes that the demiurge Yahweh is often misunderstood. Yahweh is not malevolent, but rather enforces the laws of the material world to maintain balance and order. This order is necessary for souls to learn and evolve. Yahweh's strictness is a reflection of justice, not cruelty, and understanding this allows one to see the greater purpose behind the challenges faced in the material world. The path to liberation lies in understanding these truths. By seeking Gnosis, individuals can overcome the illusions of the world and reconnect with the true God. This reconnection brings peace, joy, and a sense of unity with all creation as the soul remembers its divine origin. In conclusion, the gospel of truth calls for a return to the divine through knowledge and love. It invites souls to see the material world as a place of learning, where even the challenges imposed by the archons serve a higher purpose. The ultimate goal is to transcend these challenges and reunite with the divine source, where truth, love, and wisdom reign supreme.